You shall not make for yourself an idol in the form of anything, in heaven above, or on earth beneath, or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them. Most churches have the cross as a symbol of Christianity. However, the early church did not use the cross as a symbol of Christianity. In the times of early church, the cross was an execution tool for criminals on death row. For the early Christians, surrounded by crucifixion as a grim fact of common experience, there was no danger in beautifying the cross by sentiment. Originally, the cross was an idol symbolizing paganism. Cross forms were used as symbols, religious or otherwise, long before the Christian era. The public use of the cross was adopted by the Christians as a symbol at the time of Constantine. The Christian church accepted the cross, the symbol of paganism. When people made a symbol of paganism and worshiped it, they were destroyed. Worshiped Asherah poles and idols. Because of their guilt, God's anger came upon Judah and Jerusalem. Then, why did the Israelites worship idols even though they knew that worshiping idols led them to destruction? That was because they were deceived by idolaters. Idolaters deceived the Israelites to believe that the idol of Egypt was God and incited them to worship the idol. Even today, idolaters deceive people to believe that the cross is a symbol of Christianity and a reminder of Jesus' sacrifice so that they can worship the cross and idol. When you prostrate yourself, therefore, in adoration of an image, whether you suppose it to represent God or a creature, you are already fascinated with superstition. Cursed is the man who carves an image or casts an idol. A thing detestable to the Lord, the work of the craftsman's hands, and sets it up in secret. Those who make the cross and worship it will be destroyed. Believe the new covenant that was established by Christ and be saved by participating in the blood of Christ.